I don't respect how you waltz on down here. You roll it's time. This time I'm doing it right. I'm gonna eat it hot. I'm hungry. Real food. I'm done with eating these uh, smoked oysters. They don't agree so much. You come out here and say you're the guy. They don't agree so much. So if we're talking about questions tonight, Roman Reigns, I got one question for you. Is there any room in that clouded, protected, conceited brain of yours? For you to actually see what the hell is going on here. Or do I have to beat some common sense into you? Now we're talking, John. Do it. Come on. Do it! Do it right here, right now! What do you think, Omaha? Do you want to see John Cena beat my ass? This is your moment. This is your moment to finally back up your big mouth. Do it. Just like I thought. You're all talk, John. And that's why I don't respect you. And it is about respect. John Cena, Roman Reigns, one on one, at no mercy. Good news, good news, good news. It's done. Burnt my finger, it got it so hot. But, uh, yeah. It's hot. It's definitely hot. And I think I burnt it. No, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> burnt my finger though. Really, seriously, burnt my finger. Even wearing my gloves, my black gloves. That thing was that hot. So I think I added in there 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. At 350. Get a dollar for dollar match of all the cash back you burned at the end of your first year. I think it's time to take a picture. Where'd you go, Bob? I seriously burnt my finger, though. I seriously burnt my finger. Yeah, look at it. That is burnt. It's gonna be worth it. Yes. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Time to enjoy. <laughs> this is going to make up for yesterday. Lord's Prayer. Lord, I love to give you thanks for this food that I'm about to eat. And may I ask that it always keep me healthy and strong. And Lord, I'll love to give thanks for getting me this job at Caravan Taylor's and working all these years. And Lord, may I ask that I continue to keep working there many more years to come. Amen. Lord, help me, Jesus, with the troubles that I'm facing. Amen. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff. Up, down, all around. Got my drink. Let's check her out. Let's let not get her cold. Yes, I, I told you. Christmas. Christmas. Christmas.
Oh. And this is about hashtag title tonight. Ladies and oh. gentlemen, it was ten years ago oh. yesterday that oh. Jeff Hardy won his oh. final intercontinental oh. championship. Tonight he oh. has yet another opportunity a decade later. Oh, that's a great feel-good story. You have to admit this Happy had sort of a career renaissance, especially since Happy last year on Monday Night Raw. This is the best thing I've ever huh. seen Miz in his career. Would you agree, Booker? Yeah, well, they, they've done a great job. Uh, yeah, Hardy, Booker, it's not. It's not, it's done. Booker, it's a little longer. WWE huh. is still in the real world. A little bit longer, five minutes more. Career, but this guy's career is all about the Booker T. Hardy of the WWE. Booker T. Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, Booker T. Hardy, the greatest of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the greatest of all time. And you always would say, then it will let them in and just a rule on. Get the three time WWE champion, four time intercontinental champion. This one's a hip toss blocked by Jeff. Now Jeff with the backslide, shoulders down. Actually, yeah. I did not leave it in long enough, Jeff. Champion again, Jeff Hardy. In fact, the prize is still white. And O'Connor rolls, and now ducks underneath, and Miz now backing up toward the ropes. Big nothing away from the Miz, and Miz has been working his way to this position. And like I said, he's having the best year of his career. That's the way you put it up. Look out for Miz Turash closing in. Jeff doing the wise thing. Uh -huh. back in the ring. Miz, Miz missing wildly. Jeff Hardy oh. sends Miz up over the top row. That didn't miss. Hmm. And Jeff Hardy now. Will he fly? Hmm. He talks about taking high risks. And Miz and Miz Turash oh. roll out of the way. Intercontinental Championship on the line. Live on Raw. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little bit. Let's go. You got a kitchen mm. that's brand new, and you'd like to keep it mm. that way, too. You won't mm. set out on your own, so you can be killed. Just say on. I don't think they did quite this. Not this time. No. I don't think so. Back to Minnesota. 20 minutes. 350. What if there was a paint where each drop was formulated to be smarter? No longer. So if a color didn't go on evenly, it would balance itself out to reveal its no truest, richest state. If a paint could realize the fullest potential of any color, you have to wonder, is it still pink? Point five would be too long. Already interior from Benjamin Moore. Only available at independently owned paint and hardware stores. The world is not flat. You can't just pinch it, swipe it, or scroll it. Sure, you've seen the Mediterranean, but have you? How warm is Brazil in February? What color is dusk in San Francisco? There's a whole world out there. I know the car that's are experiencing yeah. like a platform car. Oh. Okay. Back with the no drink on yeah. of American Express. Chicken sizzling, I'm new. Yes. I did good. Mr. Rush has just been ejected from ringside. And I believe Matt Hardy has been too. I can understand Matt Hardy is just busy assaulting the music. I can understand that it's Taraj since Curtis Axe got involved in the match. But nonetheless, we're now back to an even playing field. Miz the Intercontinental Champion. Mm. 
Ten good seconds. Mm. A mass favor. Fight because all you do is warm up. Oh. He ain't gonna cook it. So there's no reason why you should burn it. Guy with the head teeth. Nebraska, the man is defending the Intercontinental Championship against Jeff Hardy. The Miz Taraj has been ejected from ringside, as has Matt Hardy. I like it, man, because uh, I don't think I'm going to do bad for not having it. Not a problem for the Miz, but the Miz has a chance right now, guys, to step up and show what he's made of. And the Miz now back to his feet. Looking perhaps for the skull crushing finale. Jeff Hardy, though, able to roll this up. Shoulders down. That little nub, though. Little nub. Coming here, fall for the challenger. Nobody home. Amazing trouble. And Jeff Hardy with his opening. But again, Miz. This is why I wish I had teeth. Oh! This is going to be really hard. Is it enough to retain the championship on Jeff and a kick out of two? Imagine making this with just your gum. Imagine that. Mentioned the Miz by name earlier and why Cena respects Miz. And what an interaction that was between Roman Reigns and John Cena. I know how guard but it's only supposed to be like five week, minutes. Uh, about the fact that the peak said he only lasts three months. Go big them. Like croutons. I like croutons. Every single day he uses that as fuel to fight. To fight for respect here in WWE and that's what he's trying to do. Mm. As they are continental champions. I was one of those guys. Oh. I was one of those guys. Oh. Those guys. Oh. Those guys. Oh. This is like a treat. Hall of Fame career. Like I say, he's a guy that goes out every week, week in and week out. He doesn't get hurt. That right there is a test of his heart. And these right here are the it kicks made famous by the A-lister himself. They're actually made famous by Daniel Bryan, the general manager of now, but nonetheless, there's Mrs. Wild with Jeff Hardy. He is throwing to the corner, hits hard. And Jeff Hardy oh, is connected. I do realize all that space. I do realize that. But I give them credit for one thing. Have you ever watched Ghosty? The announcers are reading off the paper. I give them guys credit because they're reading off the paper what they're doing. They're not watching them. They're reading off the paper. And they're exactly doing exactly what the paper says. Jeff hitting hard, and now Miz looks to take advantage. So they go out of the practice. Miz quickly into the cover, try to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Like I said before, if the match is 45 minutes long, that's a lot of memory. I mean, they're not reading no paper now. You know, what do I do now? <laughs> I never had a teacher tell me that. When I was a child, I, I couldn't understand what she meant by it, but she says, you had to have the brain to me in the movies. I never want to see that. As you watch, be a monster. What kind of memory do you need to be a monster? A monster would have certain parts, and you have to remember that. The world on Monday Night Raw. Let's look at this again. Oh my goodness! A fall from that distance would end the match for a long time. What you meant by you need to read the script. No. If you can't read the script, then you can't be an actor. They go, yeah, but he's just a monster. All he does is scare people. That's when I think the teacher put her hands up in the air and said she gives up. 
I'm 50. He's got to be 60. So they need some money. No, oh, they need the money. And they're paying for it. Yeah. Give them Rome. guys credit. You drop me off a rope seven feet in the air, land on my back. I think I'll be, I'll, I'll be done. I, I mean, I mean for life. I'll be crippled. Sasha to this point has never successfully defended the Raw Women's Championship, but we thought last Monday might be a night that broke the curse, so to speak. Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks in an incredible match. Back and forth, Back Sa off. Sasha searching for a submission. Kevin Pete in here. My little Miss Bliss. On my back, I think I'm going to be done. She is indeed the oh. right feet of Fury. The DET standing Sasha Banks up and allowing Bliss to regain the Raw Women's Championship, but this is what happened after the match. Nia Jax, she, no secret about it, she's been friends with Alexa Bliss since uh, coming to Monday Night Raw. She came out to, well, celebrate with her friend, celebrate with the new Raw Women's Champion. Nothing suspicious even about this scene. Nia Jax just coming in to have a little celebratory moment with her friend Alexa Bliss, or so we thought. Look at the expression change on the face of Nia Jax. As she comes crashing down on the brand new champion. And Nia Jax would make her intentions known. It's my time. And ladies and gentlemen, we have learned that at No Mercy, in three weeks in Los Angeles, on the Jolly WWE Network, Alexa Bliss will defend her title in a championship rematch against the boss, Sasha yeah. Banks. Sasha, we'll have a I talked to Bill Warren today. No mercy. And, uh. No. Christine's not done. Hey. Yes. Explain to me how Sasha gets a title opportunity at No Mercy before I do. Did you see what I did it to that Beyonce wannabe and the blonde headed Tinkerbell Alexa last week? It's Sasha's contractually obligated rematch. And besides, Naya, that's not how you get opportunities. You know better than anybody that you have to create your own opportunity You're around absolutely you. Right. When I held that Raw Women's title in the air, I could feel the women's division trembling at the thought of me becoming champion. You've got to be kidding me. Excuse me. 
Charlie Meyer. No offense, but according to my Twitter feed, no one was talking about you last week. The internet was buzzing, but it was over the woman who single-handedly started the women's revolution. Me. And now I think it's time to start a new hashtag that's going to trend worldwide. Get this kept. Give Emma a chance at the women's title. Emma. If you don't get out of here in five seconds, the hashtag's going to reach. Put Emma in the hospital. Oh, all right, hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. That's not how we do things around here. You don't just come in here asking for opportunities. You want a title opportunity, you're going to have to earn it. So here's what we're going to do. The two of you are going to team up together tonight, take on Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss. If Sasha and Alexa win, then her title match at No Mercy remains one-on-one. -on -one. But if the two of you win, I will add you to the match and make it a fatal four-way. How does that sound? That doesn't sound so bad. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. 20 minutes. Ustedes son amigos, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre andamos juntos. Aquí tienen el reconocimiento de confiabilidad de J.D. Power. Bueno. Ahora dáselo al amigo más confiable. ¡Ay, no! ¡No puedo! Me la puse esta difícil. Tener que elegir es difícil. Es muy difícil. Es que Sherry lo hace más fácil. Es la única marca reconocida por J.D. Power como la más confiable en sus autos. Pues yo lo hice la última vez. And ate it right away. You don't let your food cool off. That's this is a story about mail and packages. Pure it's also stupidity. A story about people. And while let we it cool off. Commerce deliveries to homes than anyone else in the country. We never forget that your business is our business. The United States Postal Service. Priority you. The only time I can see you cooling off food is like pizza and deep fried food. This is not deep fried. It's baked. The one thing is not hot. It's warm. Not hot. Jimmy, this is my definition of fresh it's since warm. 1983. You don't have to let it cool off. It's warm. It's warm. And it is so good. Thumbs and all. Everybody got to get some damn brand. Omaha, Nebraska. This is Bonner Club. What? Used to look real good around this waist. 
and the Intercontinental Championship would have looked real good around this waist if it wasn't for Bray Wyatt. You see, when Bray appeared last week in the Battle Royal, he cost me my opportunity to challenge The Miz. And I learned that although I may have been victorious at SummerSlam, you never truly beat someone like Bray. He never truly goes away. He wow. always seems to appear <laughs> expect him. Wow. Well, mark my words, Bray. The next time you did good, Carlo. I will be ready. What's in the big trouble? What's in the big trouble? I've chosen my face. I tell you what was in the bag. And I'm not afraid. <laughs> it's in my I'm belly demon. now. <laughs> my demons. Yes. Because sometimes. I become them. It was in the bag. So it was in the bag. To play games week well, after let's do it. Week. Let's Enough for one minute now. I have enough for one more meal. Yeah. Well, actually, she used to take me hunting. The chicken got two breaths. And I'll never forget the first time. These breaths is a meal. But I had the tear tops from last time. So when the prize are gone, tear tops are next. Which is the game. Too easy. Yeah. So I decided I wanted to shake things up a little bit. And so I put my we'll have a half a thing of toast left. Dry and toast I that I just ate. Just and half. Then I got another half to go. My bare hand being the judge. Don't need bear. Okay. My bare hand chucks them off. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended anybody last night the way I was acting. I'm sorry. This is here to say that. Hey, I was overtired. And uh, I was just upset about everything. Y'all understand what I'm going through, right? Money is the issue. And Ann Milton is really <laughs> getting her grubby little hands on something she don't need. That she did never earn. Just like the rent money. She never earned the rent money. And she don't earn this money that she's getting from me now. Because basically, I cleaned that place two weeks before I moved out. Basically. And she said it was acceptable. Actually, I should be calling somebody right now. Make to get her back into court and stop this uh, so called choice, Bray. Uh, I know exactly what I am. What she's doing to my money. What is that? Uh, what is she doing to my money? My check. She's doing something with my check. Don't do drugs, people. She took advantage of me about that. Yeah. I believe that. I should get a lawyer. And a lawyer will prove Carl does have a disability with reading and writing and mathematics. And he has a higher time understanding right from wrong. Because what happened was wrong is that I was misled by Ann Rillerton. I'm telling her the house was for sale. But they say everything happens for a reason. This was supposed to happen? Well, I guess. So yeah, this is a good thing. You know, her forcing me to leave. So, hey. So, hey, I'm, I'm happy. I got a bigger place. That's what I needed, a bigger place. But I wish I had a yard and a garage. Again, I was misled. Wrong from right. 
wrong was me cutting the grass, taking care of her yard, and doing her snow. Plowing the driveway, all that. And, like Vernon said, why, Carl? Why? Just because she's getting you brainwashed, thinking that you get half the garage? You need half of the garage for all the stuff she's making you do it with. Carl, it's common sense. She's making you do something you shouldn't have to do. Vern was right. She did have me do something that I didn't have to do. It's her house, her land, her garage, her yard, her driveway, her sidewalk, her responsibility. All I'm supposed to do is pay rent. That's it. Now again, she took advantage of my intelligence that isn't probably as wit as hers because she says, Carl, I am smarter than you think. Well, you know what? You might be book smart, but I'm street smart. That's why I will survive and she will not ever survive because you know what? She is lazy. She don't want to work. She don't want to earn nothing. She would never be no way. When her mom passes away, she will have nothing. Unless her mom's got a lot of money and that's what she's hoping on getting. Sad. Very sad. WWE, no mercy.